YouTube, what's the word? It's your boy Gangland Neiman, aka Neiman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all, and we back with another reaction. So we about to get into uh, Rockstar Twenty Eight, busting Adam Twenty Two down. We just gonna do a compilation of Adam getting bust down like Tatiana. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody calling him out on his bullshit, and I love it. You feel me? Hypocrisy everywhere. You feel me? My boy is. He's really selective politicking and not even like on some street shit, but just in general, like he pick and choose who he want to handle with care. And it's just funny. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into this clip. Suck ass Adam, nigga. Suck ass. Nick. Man, yeah. hey, hey, why you why you throw 03 under the bus like that? OK, do you think I did anything wrong? Man, you threw him under the bus. Greedo reached you, out on, to hold me on, hold on, hold on. and can, told me hold on, that hold on, hold I did on. nothing yeah. wrong. Hold on. You consider him as a friend? Yeah. Okay, you was in your feelings because he didn't come to your, do your interview first, right? It wasn't mostly like that. It was mostly just the fact that hold if on. there's paperwork going around of him, that's sh getting out one hold way on. or another, so right? if he done an interview before and that hit your desk, would you acknowledge it or no? Even if he had already done the interview with me and if someone came to me and said, hey, we got paperwork on this dude. My response would not be like, hey, bury it. Get rid of it. <laughs> it's already coming out one way or another, right? My I believe that. <clears throat> I believe whether bro did the interview first or not, he was going to tell 1090 Jake, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got to do with some paperwork or whatever. That's just the dude he is. And he don't see 03 Greedo as no friend. I'm just being honest. He don't see any of you niggas as friends. Brick, I don't know how him and Desto is. You feel me? But I think he'll throw your ass under the bus too. I'm going to just keep it real. Straight like that. You feel me? But, you know, he he was at the wedding and shit from what I know. But the rest of you niggas, like, he don't care about you. I mean, his track record has proven such. Like, only response was, I don't do that. I'm not the paperwork review guy. So if you want someone to take a look at it and let you know what they That's think of it and how valid it is, <laughs> here's 1090 Jake. This is the guy. I don't see why I did anything wrong. And Greedo reached out to me and told me the same thing. He said he didn't think I did anything wrong. Yeah, now. Greedo posted that. <laughs> Probably the like, it, I mean, Adam. he's the one who's having to actually deal with the consequences of 1090 Jake making that video, you know? Yeah, but if you never passed it along, it would never got out there. Let's yeah, keep it well, real. It, but it wouldn't have been. It, never, uh, it wouldn't have had a bro, person saying that see, it was real or see, not. See, this is the, the, y'all. It would have just been floating around you, with no context. Y'all underestimate y'all platform. I'm, I'm tired of hearing this. Like if that's your homie. Why wouldn't you want some bullshit just floating around out there w w without context? Who cares? Don't let nobody address it. But why bring it to a bigger platform if that's supposed to be your partner and the schmutt on his name? I'm just Every saying. time you say no, it won't. Like. No, it, yeah, you say yes, it would, but I'm saying no, it wouldn't because y'all the biggest. Okay, here's my question. Y'all the biggest. Is it a good False. thing when snitching comes to light? For who? Is it good for society as a whole and the community as a whole when I, someone who snitched I, is I, exposed I, as a snitch? I, 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 what the fuck would society as a whole care about knowing who's a snitch or who's not? What difference does that make? What difference does that make in our society? Like, I'm just trying to think like where it's like, oh, I would need to know who's a, a, a snitch in real life. I'm just saying like, what? Say that. I can't say that is good. Maybe it's good for street culture, but don't nobody else. Everybody else don't give. A well, OK, everybody else. Yeah. But yeah. in terms of like the people who care about this kind of thing the reason but why we, there are people like 1090 jake who make those videos that are very and why are you a person who cares about that kind of thing like dude you're a civilian all the jokes are like oh he hires the crips and all that that's just cool but it's like he's not you're not a crip you're a civilian so why so why why do you care who's a snitch or who's not the Bueller. people telling that's what i'm trying to understand why do people care about other people telling because people care about authenticity and if your whole identity is based on you being a gangster and then it comes See, out that there's paperwork about you, then and I agree with it, you on should, that. it should be brought to light. I agree with you on that, but it should be brought to light in his hood neighborhood. And you didn't feel this way when niggas was talking about you with the 16-year-old? You got mad at Joe Budden. I remember you being in your feelings. 
with Joe. Big feelings with Joe about him speaking on that. And it's like, I mean, what's the difference? I know you ain't Joe, homie. Oh, you know that's not how this works. Everything that happens in everyone's neighborhood is a YouTube video doors. waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, I just, it's too much shit that a lot of shit that should be behind closed doors and not on the internet. But this shit is trickling into the streets and this shit is making the shit look bad. But I'm the person you. who hit me up with the paperwork is a gangster, is a dude who's really from the same hood that Greedo is from. I understand like, that. And what did he him? want? He wanted someone to make a YouTube video. But if like, you really consider you him as a real friend, you wouldn't have did that. And that's exactly. point blank. Okay. No? I'm very good friends with Brick Baby, right? Yeah. If you hit me up and you said, hey, I got this paperwork on Brick Baby, you know what I'm going to say? What you going to say? Shoot say, it. Run it. I know a chubby Shoot white it. boy from Massachusetts named 1090 Jake. Nah, I need you to holler at nah, him. Nah, nah, <laughs> it's not no, my business. That. I'm not going to be the one reviewing that, it. That's crazy. You even suggesting that, offering that, that shows no loyalty to your real. He get to just play around. This is how I feel. He get to play around with y'all in our culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gang banging is, 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 is y'all shit. But it, and that's y'all culture. You feel me? This is shit y'all live and die by. And you let this man just play around, like, with that shit. You feel me? All, all of them niggas up there, y'all let them just play around. A, 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 a lot of foul behavior going unchecked just because y'all getting the check. And and that's that's funny, man. All y'all selective politicking. No, but... That, that's what I'm saying. It's just content Hoover of Gucci. It's just content. Not if, Wait, if snitching really is as bad as all these gangsters and rappers over the years have persuaded me that it is, it should be exposed even if that... He said that hip-hop persuaded him to think that, yo, so this is... He is the reason why back in the day they was all, we got to stop rap music. We got to stop the whole shit. We can't let this go no further. There's a... Th because... Because people, white people, white young men like him, bro, who get brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? They get brainwashed by this shit because they don't understand because it's not their culture. You feel me? They find themselves infatuated with some shit that they really don't understand but from a face value. You know what I'm saying? And this is why they do that because niggas like that. I'm influenced. Hip-hop has influenced me to think person Goofy. is my friend it doesn't matter if they're my friend okay now let's which switch. is different than something similar crazy. like cheating if now, i knew that brick baby was cheating on his girl which i do not he got hot that flacco brought the perv busters buster dudes in there and they was on him live why was you tight about that why was you angry about the perv busters hemming you up in, in the studio if it's just, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's information that needs to be out there or reported on. Especially, that's what I do. I bust pervs. Use a perv. Record. I would take that secret to the grave because I think cheating is something where you should have your bros back. I don't really think snitching's like that. I think it's so <laughs> bad that if it's happening, people deserve to know. This guy is a, this guy is a clown. <clears throat> This guy's an absolute clown. He said, I'll go to the grave knowing my boy's cheating on his girl. But if he's a snitch, it got to be exposed. Like, what? I'm just I'm just talking real life, like civilian. That's some of the craziest shit in the world <laughs> to me. You know what I'm saying? That's wild. I mean, what people, though? The streets. <laughs> Hey, man, the streets, <laughs> man, we really talk about the streets. I really believe man. what I'm saying, though. I really think that, like, the if it's so bad, then it deserves to be talked about. And I shouldn't be involved in hiding it away if it's... And I also was, like, assuming I know Greedo, I trust Greedo, I don't think Greedo would tell or do something whack like that. So when they come to me with it, I'm assuming <laughs> like that, that 1090 Jake's tell. gonna see it. <clears throat> you know how many different scenarios it could be for why somebody is... Snitching, not that I'm condoning snitching at all, but it's just like they, there's <clears throat> a litany of reasons, like you know what I mean. Besides just oh, I just gave up on on um whoever I was fighting the case with or whatever, or snitching or something. It's like so so for bro to just be talking like that de definitively, like 
dude, you're you're you ride bikes, bro. You ride bikes, and by the grace of Allah, you know what I'm saying. You found yourself in our culture, and all you've been doing is kicking up dust, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to end the um, video right there. Uh, shout out to Rockstar2800 because, you know what I'm saying, that shit that need to be um, ass. You feel me? I, I, I super fuck with that. Don't nobody be pressing, bro. You know what I'm saying? He just sit around and says this crazy shit. Niggas be like, ah, 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 ah. Like, no, bro. No. You're a dub, bro. Straight up. But it's your boy Gangland Neem. Hit that notification bell for uh, new content. Also, like, subscribe comment and share bro share if you fuck with the content peace